So in this video, I'm going to talk about shortcut keys which you can use in your Mac on daily basis. So without wasting any time, let's start with the first shortcut key which is related to file info. Now if you want to check any file info, what we do is we go uh, on that particular file, we right click and then we select get info option and then we are able to check all the details related to that file. But you don't need to follow this long process. All you need to do is you can just, uh, you know, simply select that particular file and press command plus I on your keyboard and then you will be able to check out the details of that particular file. So you can do this with any particular file. Maybe it may be an image or it may be a PDF file or any other document. Just select the file, press command plus I and then you are good to go. Now the next shortcut is related to deleting a particular file. So let's say if you want to delete a PDF file, a document or an image, what we do is we select the file, we right click and we select move to bin to delete that file or folder. So instead of, uh, you know, following all this long process, just simply go and select the file and press command plus delete on your keyboard and that file will be deleted or it will be moved to bin over here. You can do this with any file. Just select the file and press command plus delete to move it to bin or to delete it completely from your Mac. Now the next shortcut is related to searching application or settings in your Mac. Now let's say if you want to open any particular application, we go in launchpad, we search for the application over here by typing their name or else we manually search for the application and we open it. Next thing is we, if you want to go in settings and search for anything, we open system settings from doc and we search it over here. But instead of doing this, you can simply use spotlight search to search anything on your Mac. So you can simply use command plus space bar and you can activate spotlight search. Now over here, if you want to search for system settings, you can search for it. You can directly open it from here. Or let's say if you want to open any particular app, so you can search for that app name and it will appear over here. And not just this, you can also search for any particular document or PDF file, whichever you want. So if you're not using spotlight search, start using it. Now, the next thing is related to search option in Finder. So if you want to search anything in Finder, all you do is you open Finder and you go and select the search option and over here, we start searching for whichever thing we want. But instead of doing that, all you can do is you can just simply press command plus F to search anything in Finder. So maybe uh, it can be a PDF file. So if I search for PDF directly, it will show me all the PDF files which are available. Or if I search for any other documents or images, it will show here. So instead of going in Finder like this, you can just simply press command plus F to activate the search option in Finder. Now the next shortcut is about quitting any particular application which you are using. So let's say if you're using multiple applications at the same time and if you want to close the app or if you want to quit the app, all we do is we go on the application, we go and select the app name at the top and then we select quit application option. But instead of doing that, all you can do is just open the application which you want to close. Now, as you can see, VLC Media Player is open. If I want to close or quit this application, I'm not going to go over here on the VLC Media Player and then select quit. I'm directly going to select command plus Q. And after selecting that, you can see the application is closed. Similarly, now uh, Zoom application is open. I won't go on Zoom over here. I'm just simply, uh, I'm just going to simply uh, press command plus Q to quit that particular application. So this shortcut works with each and every app you are using on your Mac. Now the next shortcut is related to preview. So let's say if you want to open any particular file or image, all we do is we go to that folder and we double tap on the file to open it in preview application. Now currently you can see I have selected the file and preview application is open and I'm able to check that file. But instead of, uh, you know, double tapping on the file to check the preview, you can use a shortcut, which is select the file and press space bar to preview it. Now there is no need to open preview application. I'm just previewing this file. And once I'm done again, press space bar to close it. So you can use the shortcut with any file. So let's say if you want to check PDF file, you can just go and select the PDF file and then select space bar to preview it. So if even if there are multiple pages over here, you can check this in preview without opening preview application. Now the next shortcut is related to minimizing your application. So let's say if you're you know, using any application or any browser, and if you want to just minimize and go to desktop, all we do is we press this yellow color minus icon over here to minimize the browser or the application. But instead of that, all you can do is you can just press command plus H and it will take you to your desktop. So it can work with any application or any other browser you're using. 
just uh, make sure that the browser option is selected now I, I have open safari so safari is over here if i want to minimize it i'm going to press command plus h and i'm back to my desktop now the next shortcut is related to opening new tab in browser so let's say if you're using safari browser or google chrome or any other browser this shortcut is going to work on every browser so i have opened safari i'm going to open any particular website now what we usually do is to open new tab we go and select this plus icon and new tab appears but instead of that all you can do is you can press command plus t on your keyboard and you can you know uh, start new tab so you can do this multiple time if i press command plus t again again it will open a new tab so instead of going and selecting the plus icon manually just use this shortcut now it's not just about opening new tab you can also uh, close any particular tab using shortcut command plus w so let's say if i want to close this tab let's open another uh, website over here now if i want to close this particular tab what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that tab and i'm going to press command plus w to close it similarly if i go to this apple website if i want to close this particular tab select that tab and press command plus w to close it so this is how simple it is to open new tab and close any tab you want using these shortcuts now the next shortcut is related to taking screenshot now there are multiple shortcuts uh, to you know take screenshot depending on what things you require in your screenshot if you want a full page screenshot all you can do is you can press command plus shift plus number key three on your uh, keyboard then you will be able to take the screenshot you can you know check the screenshot if you want to keep it you can select done if you don't want to keep it you can select delete option so this is how you can take full page screenshot but let's say if you want to take a screenshot of a particular area then for that there is another shortcut which is you can use command plus shift and number key four and you will get this uh, selection tool over here so you can select the area which you want so click and hold it and drag the cursor like this to select the area for which you want to take the screenshot of after that just remove and then you will be able to check the screenshot over here if you want to keep it select done option if you don't want to keep it select delete so yeah this is how you can take screenshot of full page or a selected area depending on your requirement now the next shortcut is related to increasing or decreasing the volume in smaller steps and i bet many of you might not be knowing this shortcut so to usually increase the volume we use the f keys now if i increase the volume you can see it is increasing the volume in one full bar each time i am pressing the key if i want to decrease it uh, the you know it is uh, decreasing the volume with one full bar but what if i want to increase the or decrease the volume in smaller steps you can use this shortcut which is you can press option plus shift key at the same time and if you want to increase the volume in smaller steps uh, so after pressing option plus shift use volume up key now you can see it is increasing the volume in smaller steps similarly if you want to decrease the volume in smaller steps again press option plus shift and volume down key so you can see now it is decreasing the volume in smaller steps so if you don't want to increase the volume in one full bar you can use this uh, you know shortcuts to just increase or decrease the volume in smaller steps so that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful uh, if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you